In this video trailer, we're gonna look at Forex signals taking a different approach. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. Okay, so Forex signals, generally I am against them. I've, wrote, I've done videos about this before. I think ultimately you probably better off working it out yourself. I don't trust the provider. I don't trust that they're not just gonna run off. I don't trust they're gonna manage the risk effectively. There's lots of the reasons why I don't particularly like them. I think you can kind of cherry pick stuff. And I also think that some instances, depending on the platform, some of these kind of copy things are a little bit better than others and are probably worth checking out. But some of them have, you know, they're kind of geared towards getting people to think that these traders are really, really brilliant as opposed to actually getting the trader to trade the best way. But nevertheless, I know why a lot of people go to Forex signals. And day, guys, Forex trading's hard, right? It's a hard, challenging game. And the immediate thing is, hey, you know what? If I can just get some signals from somebody who knows what they're doing, who seems to be profitable, it'll give me a bit of a boost in finances. I'll learn a little bit and I'll be on my way now. I get the idea and I get the theory behind that. Most people tend to just kind of think that they can use it as a short-term way to riches. However, if you're one of these guys out there who wants to kind of learn it, but thinks maybe I can leverage on other people, this might be something that's worth trying out. So first of all, find a good signal provider. So have a look at their back-tested, not the back-tested results, have a look at their historical results and see someone who's been going a long time with not much uh, draw down, not much hidden risk, they're not martingaling in or something like that. They're just genuinely trading quite well, decent profit, decent uh, percentage hit rate, decent risk reward ratio, generally ticking all the boxes. You're not looking for a genius, you're looking for somebody who's over time making steady money, maybe some drawdowns here and there. But the most important thing, there's not devastating hidden risk in there or massive drawdown, which is just showing uncontrollable uh, kind of loss structure. So find that person first. And there's a Plenty of guys out there who have who have a reasonable track record. Now, then follow the signals on a demo or very small size. So in other words, subscribe to them or, or kind of follow them or however it works with whatever you're doing. And we've got one uh, probably stick in the uh, description below that does copy trading, which is worth checking out it's as good as others and one that you can have a look at for yourself. But basically following them on a demo or very, very small size. And that really starts to get you engaged, right? It really starts to get you involved with the market. You know, a signal comes out, you're in the trade, you're watching the trade. Now, demo, small size, I mean, if you can, I would always recommend like really, really small size, as small as you possibly can. Demo, you don't really quite get the same, even if that's it's almost meaningless, just having something in it, it gives you a way better um, kind of affinity with what's going on than a demo, but I get demo might do the job. Okay, move on. Number three, then we note down the entries and exits. So as the signals are coming through from your provider, they're like, okay, we're going long cable here, we're going short Euro, US dollar at this level. Start to note it down. And one thing I, I kind of didn't put on here is, is print off your chart or annotate it onto your chart. So print off your charts, put your charts on the screen, screenshot it, whatever it may be, and start to annotate where the signals are coming. So you've got your, if it's swing trading, you're printing off your daily chart, or or your four hourly chart of GBP USD, you're putting the buy signal in, you're waiting, get the exit, you put your sell signal in, and then you start to build a bigger picture. You start to decipher the strategies, the pros, the cons of the guy or the girl selling you, sending you the signals. You know, are they looking for momentum? Can you see what's going on? Are they kind of buying breakouts? Are they fading momentum? What's their overall strategy? And they may be someone who'll be able to help you out if that's that kind of provider that kind of gives you that guidance as well, but some of them are just purely sending signals. So you're learning from this and you're saying, well, this guy who's had uh, relative success is following trends or is fading extremes or is doing this or is doing that. And the stop loss placement seems to be about 50 pips, seems to be under these key levels, seems to be variable depending on things. You start to build up a library of these signals, a library of charts, a kind of a jotter, blotter, whatever you want to call it, of data that you can start to start decipher what they're doing and you can start to learn from it and you can start to say, okay, this is not a bad little strategy. This guy's waiting for a breakout, a four bar pullback, and then buying, always waiting for this, always waiting for that. And you can start to see what's working for yourself. And so then 
the next step is to once you've deciphered a little bit of, of, of the strategy and, and the approach is to start making your own trades using the signals as a guide. So a long signal comes out on USD JPY, for example, you then look for a good entry based on what you know about the signal, what you know about the market, and you try and adapt it. Maybe you take the signal immediately. Maybe you say, actually, you know what? I've recognized a little bit of a weakness in this guy's a little bit early. I'm gonna put that 20 pips under the market or 30 pips under the market or whatever it may be. But you, you're using that as a kind of baseline, adapting and tweaking it based on your observations for pros and cons, and then, you're adding your own flavor to it. So the pros might be, hey, this guy's really, really good at placing stops. So when a stop position comes out, I don't meddle with it. However, he seems to take profits a little bit too early or gives a little bit back. I'm gonna adjust for that. Maybe I'll scale into position or scale out position. So utilizing this guy's credibility and skill with your own. And then ultimately, the final stage, guys, is to develop your own standalone system. So you've got a good idea of where the root signals come from. You've got now, you've developed a strategy for improving the performance performance of those signals, now you can develop your own standalone system. So you've used this as a tool, you've used this as a foundation to get yourself going, get yourself immersed and in embracing the market conditions and understanding the market conditions. And now the final step is you say, hey, you know what, now I don't need that because I recognized what's working, what's not working. I can produce the triggers and filters myself. I fine tuned it, I've adjusted it. I'm off, I'm walking, I'm flying on my own and I can do that with multiple markets. So it's, it's a one idea, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below how to utilize forex signals i think this is a kind of bit of more of a uh, mature is the wrong word a better approach i think is probably the right word than just following signals blindly because you're learning here you're improving and even if you let's say even if you follow this guy and you lose money you're still going to have a lot of learning by the way this is why i want to emphasize this like this is demo or very 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 small size you know we're not trying to make money out of this is a learning experience only rather than a wealth generating experience. The wealth generating comes you know, further down the line when you've got this core. But like I say, even if you're losing, you're learning stuff, you're saying, well, that's not working or it could work if we just tweaked a little bit. And sometimes someone looking into someone's trades can spot something that's so glaringly obvious that changes the game. And so this is not a bad thing to try out. Anyway, guys, let me know, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and appreciate a thumbs up if you like the video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.